Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking this apart for you guys, and I'm going to um, explain a little bit on how lock works. Alright, this is the outer part that is in the door, and usually what's right here is the bolt. And what this little lever right here does is when you turn it, usually the bolt would come out and in when you turn that. And what a key does is it just turns that. Like that. Alright. Now, to take it apart, just a sec. Alright. This right here is the part where the key goes in. And usually it sits right here. And this is turned by the key, which opens the bolt. So, when you take it out, it's just this little thing. And then this can come off. And right here, this is the lever that goes through to the other side. Um, and then this is able to turn it too. So, how you get that off is, um, I'm just going to use a pick and push down this little this little pin right here that's holding it in. Push it down and you can just unscrew it. And then that comes off and here's the little pin and the spring. And then you just have the mechanism and this right here is called the plug and that's where the key goes in and it also holds the bottom pins. This is called the Bible, and it holds the springs and the driver pins. So I'll show you inside here. And when you're pulling out the plug, make sure to turn it. Otherwise, if you just pull it out, all the, um, all the pins will go into the wrong holes and the key won't work and it won't come out, so you can't pick it out. And it just makes a big mess. And what I just did now is put a plug in, or a follower, which um, just keeps all the pins up in the Bible. So this is the plug. And those right there, right here, are the little pins that the key makes um, flat against the plug. And that way it will um, turn. But if you pulled out, then the driver pins will... Oops. They will go like this into it. And then it won't turn because those pins are in the way of the shear line. And what a shear line is, is just like this gap right here in between the, pretend this is the plug and then the Bible and um, the shear line is where it turns so if this was in it this um, when the key is put in it will turn but um, when it is not in um, all the little pins push down into the bottom pins and um, it gets in the way of the shear line and it doesn't open and that's how a lock stays locked is these pins right here and then what happens is when you put the key in, those level out and it's flat again and that way it turns. And what happens when you're picking it is you have your tension wrench in and then when you're picking it, you're just individually pushing those pins up till they try and meet the shear line. And what your tension wrench does is it makes it so that when they get to that, it holds it there because it turns just a little bit when they set. And you also usually hear a faint click. So um, what you're doing when you're picking is just pushing them individually up to the shear line and trying to get them flat with it. And that way it will turn. So a good way to um, learn more about locks and such is to just go out and buy a cheap 
padlock, or sorry, not a padlock, a bolt lock or a deadbolt, and um, just kind of fool around with it, take it apart, see how it works. That's um, it's a good way to learn. So yeah, that's essentially how a lock works, and the inside of that one. So thanks for watching, and if you like my videos, please subscribe.